Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, once while poems from the past. Uh, today's poem comes to us from Gregory Orr from his collection The Caged Owl, which was published by Copper Canyon Press in 2002, and is a volume of new and selected poems. Uh, so most of these poems come from other collections and are gathered together. Um, into one single volume, um, which is a great way to to encounter sort of uh, at least what the poet believes is their their best work, um, and uh, a great way to kind of encounter sort of a, a larger body of work. It's also cheaper if you're broke, you know. <laughs> and uh, in any case, I, I wanted to read something from this collection. There's a lot of great work in here, and. Um, I highly recommend uh, searching out Gregory Orr, both as a poet and as an essayist. Um, and I'm going to read something uh, from one of the later collections in here, uh, towards the middle, last third, I'd say, of this collection. Uh, this is entitled Elegy for James Wright. Not only doesn't the Ohio stop tonight, it moves more easily under the stars, under the barge lights, and in my veins, blood, though heavy with sorrow, still flows, and below the Catskills, the Hudson keeps flowing, my own river. That's deeper than anyone dreams, with its rich secret of fish intact under all that sewage and grief. On the Hudson's far shore, there's a chestnut, my own tree, a plank fort hid in its branches. Your poems taught me it was there, though it's nothing like your own tree by your own river's bank, that sycamore, pure thing, so like the simple word you sought, tree from which the gray bark peels and drops until it stands half in rags, half in radiance. Um, and that was Gregory Orr, Elegy uh, for James Wright from The Caged Owl, Copper Canyon Press, 2002. Um, if you enjoyed this uh, poem and the work of uh, Gregory Orr, please check out the description for the video for more information about where to find this book and other books by Gregory Orr, um, as well as learn more about uh, the poet. Um, and please uh, like the video. Uh, comment below if you have ideas or suggestions for other things or just want to say something nice. I could always use a little pick-me-up at the end of the day. Um, but feel free to comment, uh, make suggestions about other poets and poems that we might engage, and uh, and just let me know in general um, how you're enjoying the series. Um, the um, this uh, this series uh, is, has new work every uh, or new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, so if you'd like to be notified of that, please uh, subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon and. You'll get a notification every time there's a new video that comes up. And uh, I try to cover a pretty wide selection of poets and types of poetry and approaches. Um, but at the end of the day, to some degree, it's really, you know, whatever I'm in the mood for. <laughs> and uh, so um, I, hope, uh, I hope you're staying safe and staying well out there and staying uh, engaged in the work of poetry, finding... Uh, ways to to be in language and to be in art and to to create um, as well as to to reflect so uh, you know whatever you're doing out there I hope you you keep finding joy in what you're doing um, I'm Neil Aiken this is the Hermit Poetry Series and we'll be back again soon until then please stay safe and stay well and uh, and keep us posted as to what's happening with you and uh, I'll be back again. Um, until then, bye.